Number seven from paper one of the 2015 new hire. Given this function here, you have to find the value of the derivative of the function at four. Well, the first thing you have to do is multiply out the brackets. <coughs> Just depends how you want to deal with it, because some of these things will cancel. You can see that's power of half. You could spell it out first of all. It's x to the power of half times, I'll just state it explicitly, 3x to the power of 1 minus 2. Now, underneath, you've got power 1 and power of half, which is power 1, which is power 3 upon 2. So that's 2x to the power of negative 3 upon 2. But you can easily see that they're going to cancel for this part and just leave you 2x to the negative 1. And that's going to make the 1 and a half. But started, so I may as well finish. So 3 times x, add the powers, 1 and a half. That's 3 upon 2. Multiplying, add the powers, a half, minus 3 upon 2, that's minus 1. Now it's ready to go, so differentiate it. Multiply by the power, 3 times 3 upon 2, 9 upon 2. Take 1 off the power, a half. Multiply by the power, plus 2. Take 1 off the power, negative 2. I'll just put in what that actually means, because I'm going to evaluate it. Power a half is the square root. And power negative 2 means it's underneath with power 2. So if I want to evaluate it at 4, I simply put the 4s in now. So 9 upon 2 root 4 plus 2 over 4 squared. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so the 2s cancel. That leaves you 9. 4 squared is 16. 2 over 16 is an 8th. So you can either say 9 and an 8th, or as a single fraction, 72 and 1, 73 upon 8. Number 8 from paper 1 of this new hire 2015. You're given a rectangle, it had names A, B, C, D, and it gives you expressions for the size, but it says the area has to be less than 15. So find the range of values of x. Well, what's the area of that rectangle? It's x times x minus 2, and that has to be less than 15, so you end up with this expression. x times x minus 2 is less than 15. You know where that's going. You're going to have a quadratic in equation. So it's x squared minus 2x minus 15 is less than 0. Now, factorise it, certainly. x times x. Factors of 15 that have a difference of 2, 3, and 5. Make the larger one have the negative, so that says they're the opposites. But then don't try and separate it into two parts. This is just here to assist you now with the picture of the answers to this quadratic here. This says this quadratic should cut at negative 3 and should cut at 5. And it's the right way round. So if I want to know which parts of this are less than 0, less than means I'm not including the zeros then, it'll be this part. So any x in here will do. So the solution would be x is less than 5 and x is greater than negative 3.